In Manchester, like elsewhere around the state, the Public Works Department was getting ready for what is coming. Additional supplies in the form of 33 tons of salt was getting dropped off, trucks getting ready to head out on the road. At the local market basket, the nor'easter caused Shirley Norman to change her plans, and she was not alone. This is early. This is early before the storm hits, before the crowd gets in here. So I just got to get everything I need for at least two days. I went to Sam's Club yesterday, I get some stuff, and then today I'm getting some too, so because I don't know how bad it's going to be. Most of the state is expecting anywhere from 8 to 14 inches of snow. At Stills Power Equipment, the repair shop was busy trying to get snow blowers back in shape before the storm hits. After one of the warmest Februarys on record, it looked like the seasons had changed, only to have this reminder that winter still has two weeks left. You know, yesterday we started selling snow blowers again. Last week we're selling lawnmowers and tractors, a lot of commercial equipment. Utilities are also getting ready for the storm. Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig got a look at the resources Eversource has available to it to track outages. She says the city is ready. We have an emergency um, operations center uh, that will be available if need be. Um, cars should be off the road. Uh, that'll make it easiest for us to clear them. Now, if you do lose power, Eversource says it's important to call the utility, even though a lot of their system is automated, especially if you live on a side street. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.